Stress Sensing Mechanism in Plants Plants are exposed to an ever-changing environment to which they adjust accordingly. Their response is tightly regulated by complex signaling pathways starting with stimulus perception of various biotic and abiotic stresses, including drought, salinity, flooding, and temperature. As per Levitt, biological stress is any change in the plant environmental conditions that change a plant growth or development while biological strain is reduced change in functions as. Elastic strain, the response returns to optimal level when stress is removed. Plastic strain, when a plant does not return to its normal level. How do plants signal stress? Upon stress, plants activate a signaling cascade involving multiple molecules like H2O2 and plant hormones such as salicylic acid, SA, leading to resistance or stress adaptation. Reported in American Society of Plant Biologists on 5th April 2024. Theories There are three theories of stain detection by plants. One Ricca factor, calcium ion and glutamate theory. Ricca is an unknown factor in mimosa that was transported through the xylem. One ion calcium dication, Ca2+, is known to be shunted across membranes into plant cells after wounding in distant as well as wounded leaves. In 2015, German researchers saw calcium levels spiking in leaves other than the ones being chewed, suggesting calcium was involved in transmitting the wound signal from leaf to leaf. In a 2022 paper, they suggest that whatever is triggering the calcium wave, isn't being actively propagated through leaves and veins but is diffusing into the xylem vessels and flows to distant leaves like water. Calcium signals and electrical signals traveling in tandem to trigger leaf closing within seconds of. Touching the leaves as a signal is a change in the water pressure inside cells. Employing the next generation proteins on rock plants in response to their leaves being cut or crushed. They suggested that glutamate was released when cells were damaged and was involved in wound signaling, while glutamate opens the calcium gates further downstream, in distant parts of the plant water fluxes and pressure changes may have an important part to play in longer distance signaling. So it is concluded that glutamate and Ricca factors may spread near wounds, these chemicals draw water out of cells by changing their membrane potential. Meanwhile, waves of membrane depolarization are linked to fast electrical signaling. Two reactive oxygen species, ROS and salicylic acid subplants activate complex signaling pathways upon stress perception, generating a reactive oxygen species, ROS is one of the earliest signaling events. ROS play crucial roles in stress sensing, activation of various stress response networks, and the establishment of defense mechanisms and resilience. Different stresses generate distinct stress specific redox signatures, which, along with other signals, potentially trigger stress specific response pathways. Stress-induced ROS can trigger the production of ROS in neighboring cells initiating a rapid systemic signaling ROS wave leading to the activation of defense mechanisms. Among the ROS, H2O2 has the longest chemical lifetime and is an important redox molecule involved in early plant stress signaling. H2O2 and hormone signaling pathways interact extensively with each other to orchestrate an appropriate stress response. SA is a multifaceted plant hormone involved in regulating many aspects of plant growth, development, defense responses and response to stresses. SA's most important and well-studied function is in mediating plant responses upon pathogen infection. Apart from inducing local defense responses upon pathogen invasion, extreme temperature, drought, salinity, toxic metals, 
UV, and osmotic stress. The exogenous application of SA is known to enhance the stress tolerance of plants. SA is proposed to act as both prooxidant and antioxidant under different stress conditions, regulating ROS homeostasis in plants. It has been shown that ROS signals can act upstream or downstream of SA signaling under stress. Detection of stress before the appearance of visual symptoms in plants provides an opportunity to intervene and take remedial actions to reduce yield loss. For the first time, distinct temporal patterns of local H2O2 and SA generation were observed for each specific stress within hours of stress treatment. Three gene response the team had gone looking for genes required for plant wound signaling and in 2013 they became the first to identify one of the genetic components of the pathway. Their results showed that plants lacking working glutamate receptor-like GLR, genes produced weaker electrical responses. These plants were also less activate the plant defense hormone Jasmonte which normally starts being made within minutes of a caterpillar attack.